Hive City Minister Led Pao Haukip inspects flood affected areas, assures of measures to reduce inconveniences. After the statements of Mahwood Minister Tej Shyam Kumar to make Imphal neat and clean within a month, cleanliness drive is in full speed. And Education Minister T. H. Ratia Shyam blames politics and favoritism as reasons the set state of affairs of education system appeals teacher to contribute in government's efforts. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English News and I'm Premi Thangtum bringing you the top stories. Irrigation and Flood Control Department IFCD Minister Lid Pao Haukip inspected many flood affected areas today and is short of taking up measures to reduce the inconveniences faced by the people. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, CAF and PD, Minister Karam Shyam also took part in the inspection. The team visited many flood affected areas under Langthabal constituency like the administrative block of Manipur University, Kakwa, Singchumai, Waikhom, Laikai. IFCD minister has instructed the officials to demolish the dam in Manipur University's administrative block which is one of the major reasons behind flooding in Langthabal constituency. River basin of Turembi River running from Singh to Mai Bing encroach and houses constructed by some people are preventing water flow and is a major region for flooding in this area. Addressing media persons, IFCD Minister Late Pao Haukip said as a short-term measures, MU's dam will be demolished. He also said long-term policies to prevent flood-related issues will be taken up at cabinet meetings. Haukip said a meeting with the Revenue Department will be held soon to discuss matters regarding land encroachments in the river basin for the demolition to be carried out at the earliest. The minister appealed the public to cooperate in these efforts. CAF and PD Minister and Langthabal MLA Karam Shyam said the students are facing educational inconveniences due to the floods and assured the people of tackling the issue. He said regular discussions will be held with flood-related departments to bring about a solution at the earliest. University manung da moi ge ising ka tang jok khana ba to ba kan da asok chao ba le kai si thum ma ga le ba si bo moi ge ising only for a dry season ki tham ka ki si na ba ising do ye da makta mayam awa ba ta han ba se ma se in larger interest Manipur University na masi athu ba da ngasi mak lo thok pa na phagani na chomgani na ek khale di si na lit to worship secretary adi atai tai commissioner sing engineer sing yao ba relief committee em sema ga makhoi na pirak pa report tu gi matung ina pi ba ni ada pi ri ba kan si da su praja gi oi na pi ba si da mai party da pi mai party da pi de cheng je le ba kambu di di moi gi ne na tau ba laipa ke wara ba matam da relief the windstorm midnight last night has destroyed many houses in Langol Game Village and Langol Lairin B. Lakai. A person has been injured when the house was flown away by the strong wind. The windstorm, which started around 12.15 a.m., has not only blown away the sheets of many houses in and around Langol, but has also completely destroyed two to three houses. Oinam Ningthem from Lanko Lairenbi Maning Laikai said his son Oinam Rishikanta has been injured by the unexpected windstorm. Local MLA and Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar has visited the affected houses. Ningthem appealed the government to have those affected at the earliest. <laughs> Have the Pai Tokre, Hum Dokre, Councilman, Home Minister, Mark Lager, Yang Birame, Adu Man, the Mating Panguni, Hai Birame, Adu Huji Baldi Gomez, Hai Taki, and the Karigum Mating of the Pung Lady. Ado Huji Huji Huina Pam Jerry says, Her Kanto Bini had the Kratuna, Koji Huji Labam later, Mina Angang Sing, Kanato Nungsu, which is in Maramu, you know, who is a Kanamta Tabuk Tabu, I am the Koda, I am Tinder Ever. The Karigum Saka, the Mating Pangini idea, Dom Pangbiro. 
Cleanliness drive to clean Imphal City need and clean is underway. The drive has come under the light of the statement made by Mahut Minister T.H. Shyamkumar announcing that there will be no single litter in the bazaar area that within a month's time it will be neat and clean. Cleanliness campaign was on full swing from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. in and around Samumakung, Thangal Bazaar and Nagamapal yesterday. Imphal Municipal Corporation and local clubs nearby cleaned the Kwaidamband Bazaar. Around 50 volunteers cleaned up the market utilizing municipalities, JCB and other vehicles. Minister T.H. Shyam Kumar personally inspected the cleanliness drive. <laughs> ชินเนี่ยทําได้ไงบ่ขุจิไล่บะเดนเดเนสแมมจิเพียงเดคุยเลยบักชิเอ่อถุกายได้อันนี้ถุกายไปดิมันใช้ผุนจะเลยมีอ
A businessman is identified as an Ibocha, approximately 58 years old, has gone missing in Nampaklong, Mori. Ibocha, son of late Nongmai Thim Kanhai, is a resident of Hairok Part 2, Laishram Lekai. He sells fishes at Mintha in Mori by bringing them from Myanmar. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club today, social activist Manvir Laishram said Ibocha had gone to Nampaklong to get money changes and has been un traceable since then. Manbir further said a complaint has been lodged at the Mori police station on March 28 after Ibocha's wife Bhanu brought the issue to the club. Unfortunately, there has been no response from the police till date. Manbir appealed the relevant authorities to help find Ibocha. He also appealed the Manipur government to contact the Indian Embassy and Myanmar Embassy and inform them about the case. Imagine of Bishar, the Gipango Pau in Matuina di, Maki replies your Jibal Lak, the Highway Gim Matumina, Manipurga Mena, Menmar Game Missidam, so Manipur Game Missi, my Gay Degi, Ibosa, Hariba, Misagasi, Tina, Bonavan Tamda, Asoba, Taudam Lobu, Hibawa Pamasi, Big Team in my Gay Degi, a Koy Club Amadi, a complaint of Pimatuna, Pazamiam, the Amadi, a Kango Missina, Tianabiragasu, Takbu, Hibawa Pamasi, Tamzari, Lunana, Manipur Lingana, so Masi, Tina, Bonavada, so Taudam Lobu. A 70-day road trip to spread awareness of Rotary India Literacy Mission, RILM, which was formed to educate the underprivileged children of India, will be flagged off from Imphal tomorrow. The three women mission will be flagged off by Governor Najma Habtula from Hotel Classic Grande at 7 a.m. Addressing media persons at Classic Grande today, past District Governor of Rotary Club of Imphal, Rotary International District 3240, Ajit Irom said the flagging of ceremony is jointly organized by Rotary Club of Polo City Imphal and Rotary Club of Imphal. The road trip was flagged off from Combator on the 26th of March. Rotarians Minakshi Arvind and Mukambika Ratnam from Combator and Priya Rajpal from Mumbai who are on the road trip will travel to 24 countries to spread a mission and drive funds. Taking part in the press meet, Minakshi Arvind said the road trip is a significant one. They will cover Myanmar, Thailand, Belarus and end the trip in the UK. They will also meet the Indian diaspora in these countries and spread the awareness of child education, girl child in specific. Polyvasi in the Adagi, eradicate Tobangam Gini, Habagi, Akogi, Pandam Si Hek Uvuda, Sotariba, Larik Tamba Pangaba, Larik Tamagasu, Pazana Tamdaba, Nupi Machasing, Nupamachasing, School da Chalhanba. Angang Amada, Rotarian Amana, sponsor Tauraga, Lupalising and Ichani. We want to talk to give people and say how important education is. Especially if you see Central Asia, illiteracy is a huge problem there. Illiteracy is the cause for all our other issues in India like population, sanitation. Education is the basis for any kind of uh, social uh, upliftment. It's very important that everybody is educated to eradicate any kind of uh, problems that India is facing and other countries as well. Karanchi Youth Sporting Association KYSA Sangai Yumpam Part 2 in Kangabo constituency will organize a third non-residential football coaching camp 2017 on April 15th. In a press release, KYSA says details regarding the coaching camp may be obtained by calling mobile numbers 87318684518 and 87309025330. Once again, the mobile numbers are 87318684518 and 87309025330. Time for a small commercial break. Lots more coming up right after this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the break, and you're watching Prime Time English News. A free medical camp kicked off at Kongampat Mayai Laikai, jointly organized by Human Care Foundation and Dhanvataru Seva Yatra, Seva Bharti Manipur branch, under the sponsorship of National Medical Organization, which is routine scheduled annually. About 200 patients of various diseases like medicine, pediatric, neurologic surgeries, etc., were diagnosed by 10 doctors of state, including two doctor representatives from National Medical Organization.
three-day 63rd birth anniversary celebrations of Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy concluded today with spectacular performance of Nupapala and Gauralila by students and teachers of the academy. On the first day of the 63rd anniversary, gold medalist students and artists presented many solo and group performances of different dance forms. On the second day of the function, Lere Jagoi of Andro Harauba, Chumsa Anoi Rol Jagoi of Paying Harauba and Nongmai Lautarol Jagoi of Kanglai Harauba were showcased. Speaking at the closing day, DIPR director Megha Chandra Kongbam said, we must find out the different songs and dance forms in every nook and corners of the state and the hills to promote them. He was hopeful that Jain Manipur Dance Academy, which plays an important role in safeguarding our culture, will definitely promote them. Shri Shri Vishnu Durga Shivatin Panchayat Mandir Kangla Tombi has a diamond jubilee celebrations today. Speaker Yumnam Kemchan in presence of Parliamentary Secretary RDNPR Sekmai Emily Haikam Dingo unveiled a memorial stone. Floral tributes were paid to the deceased members of the temple who contributed in the development of the temple and a two-minute silence was observed in their honor. Several civil organizations of the state attended the event. Cultural dances and songs were also presented as a part of the program. Acting on a tip of, a tip of Imphal East Police led by additional SP operation, K. Meghachandra and additional SP, Law and Order, Wungpam Kasar conducted a cordon and search operation at Chassad Avenue. Dim Dailung and New Lambulan in the VRs today. The search operation began around 4.30 a.m. and lasted till 6 a.m. They even searched the quarters of MLAs and ex-MLAs. Several persons were verified and 12 suspects were handed over to Porompat Police Station for further verification and they were released later. Now to sports news. The finals of the 7th Shahid Manoranjan Singh Memorial CRPF football tournament, which was postponed indefinitely due to the inclement weather, will be played tomorrow. Organized by the group center CRPF Langjing and Imphal West District Football under the aegis of CRPF Nagaland Sector and Old Manipur Football Association since the 20th of this month, the tournament was participated by 12 teams. In a press release by the convener of the tournament, it said MT FC Limakong will face Naroka FC Sangakwam in the finals tomorrow at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium at 1 pm. India beat Uruguay in the second league round match of the Women's Hockey World League, currently underway in Vancouver, Canada. Indian captain Rani scored the first goal of the match in the sixth minute, which was equalized by Maria Teresa of Uruguay in the 45th minute. India's Vandana scored the second goal for India in the 49th minute. Blunders of Indian defenders towards the end of the match cost them dearly. A penalty was awarded to the Uruguay team, which was converted by Manula Villar. The match ended in a 2 all draw. The match was then decided via a tiebreaker. India defeated Uruguay 4-2 in the penalties. The Hockey League is being held from April 2nd to April 9th. India faces Belarus in the next match. Before we end the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. IFCD Minister Leit Pao Haukip inspects flood affected areas, assures of measures to reduce inconveniences. After the statements of Mahut Minister Th. Shyam Kumar to make him fall neat and clean within the month, cleanliness drive is in full speed. And Education Minister T. H. Radhesham blames politics and favoritism as regions to the set state of affairs of education system, appeals teachers to contribute in government's efforts. 